Hi, we're going to help winterize this picture a little bit using the Let It Snow Action and Brush Collection for Photoshop. I have installed it here. It's very easy to install actions in Photoshop. Just click on the top corner down to Load Actions, navigate to where your folder is that you saved, that you downloaded, and go into the Photoshop folder and click on the one.atn file and there it is. So we have it and it's very simple to use this. Um, we can add some snow quickly just by clicking on like snow flurries or snowflakes and hitting play. And we can see it's going to show up here in our layers. Now, depending on your image, your snowflakes may be big or small. Sometimes they might be more on one side than the other. You can just delete that layer and try again because it does it very randomly. Um, the smaller your file is, the bigger the flakes will be. The bigger the flakes, maybe the smaller, the bigger the picture, then maybe the smaller the flakes. So just um, play it and see how it, it looks. And then you can try snow flurries, snow and sleet, snow shower heavy, that kind of thing. So here we'll do flurries and hit play. So now we have some small little flurries mixed in there. If you want to be able to brush some off, you can quickly add a mask. Down here in the bottom of your panel, there is a mask icon. And you can also quickly do add layer mask and hit play. It's going to do the same thing. Then we're going to use a regular brush. Okay, have our brush tool right here. And I want it to be a black brush, so that's what this is. The top color is the color of your brush. And I'm just going to reduce the, the opacity just a little bit. And I'm just going to brush some maybe off of her. So it's not on her so much. All right. Then we're going to do the same thing. Add a layer mask. You can see it coming off. Now I'm going to back up because you don't want to take off too much. The snow is going to be in front of her a good bit. So you just so it's not quite so prominent. Okay, again, there's the mask icon. So this is just there for convenience, not that you have to use it. There's other things you can do. You can do creative looks like um, purple frost, misty blue, cool breeze. So purple frost is one of my favorites. And you, if it's too strong, you can lower your layer opacity. The other thing you can do is, um, if you've got skies, you can do gray clouds and you're going to brush over your skies to make them cloudier. You can kill the grass. Okay, so if you have some green grass areas, then you can um, play the kill the grass and we'll do a little bit of that with our brush. And we can just run over it here. Whoops, I need my brush to be white. There we go. So you can see we're kind of turning that grass from a green into something um, more desaturated. See that? So we're taking the green out of the picture. All right. And then there is snow that you can add with a, with a set of brushes. And you're going to click on Snow with Brush and hit Play. We have just a simple layer with a black, black mask. Now we need to get to our brushes. So you can click, if you don't know where your brushes are, don't worry about that, go to Window and Brush or Brush Presets, either way. And then you can come up here and click on the top right corner and come down and Load Brushes. And you're going to navigate to where you saved your folder, your Let, your Let It Snow folder. Okay, and then you're going to click on the Snow Brush Set folder and then click on the one file that has a .avr ending and hit Open. Okay, so now we're going to come down here, and we can see I've installed it twice, so don't worry about that. All right, so we have a soft brown brush, and then we have these um, other brushes right here. So I'm going to click on this one right here, and then I'm going to come over to the Brush tab. So we were in our Brush presets, now we're going to be in our Brush tab, and I want to scatter it a little bit. Okay, click on scattering so I can scatter it a little bit and see what's happening in our preview. Scatter it a little bit. And if we want to also um, uh, add the count up a little bit, you can do that. So just play with these little settings in here. You do need to click on them when you do it. Okay, 
Now, this a lot of these you don't need. Scattering you do. You do want to make sure it scatters. All right. So now I'm going to come in here. I've got to make sure your brush is white. Lower down the opacity because you don't want it to be stark, stark white. And then I'm going to reduce, hide these other ones so we can see what's happening. So I'm just clicking and dragging around. You see how it's just throwing that snow all over the place. So maybe you don't need to pass through so many times. Oops, I'm going to use my history. Let's come back here. All right. Make them a little bit bigger and just come through here. Just one click, two clicks, three clicks. And maybe that's all I need. I'll turn these other ones back on. So we have a lot of snow here, don't we? You can reduce the opacity of some of the layers. We can brush some of them off. You can delete the layer. It's up to you. Uh, but we were able to quickly go from a image that is late fall, early winter with snow snow, to one that definitely looks like and you know it's Boston this year <laughs> which had a lot of snow it's a fun set and I hope you enjoy it